Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome to a brand new video on a brand new mod in Spin Tires Mud Runner. Now we're using one of the American Wilds maps today, uh, Grizzly Creek to be exact, and this is a new Freightliner FLA mod and I'm very excited to get my hands on it. Now I also just turned my volume down way too low so I had to turn it back up a little bit, but as you can see, this thing has a massive amount of customization and I can't wait to show it all to you guys because frankly I haven't even seen it in my Myself yet so let's see what happens so this cabin is apparently like something that you can install uh, let's see so there's a bunch of different cabins that you can install uh, that have prerequisites of well let's see so do we do this first and then now well no now everything is unavailable um god this list is so long Oh my god, this list is so long. Holy crap. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is absolutely insane. I don't know. Uh, I guess that's a hitch. So, god, these are just... This is an insane amount of options to have on a truck. Like, I'll go ahead and tell you that right now. Like, this is an insane amount of options to have on a truck. So... I'm not sure, right now, I'm not sure why it won't let me do something different with- Ooh, definitely gonna put that on. Let's see, why is that unavailable? That doesn't make any sense. I mean, I want to put some of these others on, but... Hmm. Take that off. O2 cabin. And then... O2 loader. Okay. So that's how you make it a lumber truck if you want. O3 cabin. And then three backup wheels. So that basically what happens is you've got this little like Lego set thing going on to where the numbered cabin that you install, you'll have corresponding add-ons that go with it. So I want to see, let's see, uh, is required to install five cabin, four spoiler, five tank. But why won't it let me install it? Hmm. I'm trying to think right now why it wouldn't let, like, what would make me not be able to install that. Oh, one cabin just makes you not able to install anything. Which is weird because it just doesn't seem like it would make sense that way. Um, three trailer loader, three backup wheel. I want the fourth one because I want the, like, I want the crazy, like, cabin and stuff like that. But the only problem is, hmm... The only problem is it doesn't seem like it would like it's actually going to let me do that. There's got to be some combination that it wants. Um, there's got to be somewhere, somewhere. There's got to be some kind of combination that it wants, and I'm just gonna have to figure out what that is. Let's see if we put maybe the uh, we'll put that on there, and then we can then we could put on the massive trailer if we want, like the massive gooseneck flatbed. The only problem now is with that installed so we could put that on which is hmm, so wait the horn might give us access to some of this other stuff we'll have to see i mean it would be a weird thing to give us access yep yep okay so i the only thing now that i'm not sure of is how you get these and hmm oh there we go. Found the combination somehow. I must have been horns. Spoiler and then cabin. Dude. That's that's huge. That is huge. That's such a setup. Like that's an insane setup. I'm just making sure there isn't anything else that we can put on because if I'm doing like proper customization God, that is one hell of a rig right there. That is that is a proper rig. And I'll tell you something. That that is one hell of a truck. It's one hell of a truck. So let's go actually, let's go this way because we don't go left like 99% of the time with a big truck. Normally you have to go right. So I'm going to go left because frankly because we can. The cool thing too is that you have this 
fully done up interior, completely decked out, a wor like working gauges. I mean, only a attack and a speedo, but that's still that's still a lot compared to some of these other trucks. And when you look around in here, it's like, man, this is this is modeled really well. In the automatic mode, you have nine gears, which is a good bit for an automatic mode. Even in Mud Runner, that's a lot. And I'm assuming that okay, see, like we're going through the mud right now, and. I was expecting it to be pretty sluggish, and in the grand scheme of things, it is, but it's not as sluggish as you might expect. It's actually got some pretty good capability. I mean, like, we're just kind of chilling in fourth right now, but when it ends up going back down to first again, it's not a harsh change. Like, it doesn't stop the truck or anything like that. It doesn't make it feel like it's, you know, getting stuck or trying to die out on you. It really does keep the momentum going, even though it goes all the way back to first gear, which is really cool. I dig that. So now that we're out on the road, we can really kind of open this thing up and uh, let it breathe a little bit and see what kind of what kind of speed we can get up to. We're in fifth right now, and we're already going fast enough that I would be concerned about going much faster on some of these corners. Oh, God. Did it seriously not break that tree? Are you kidding me? Some of the little Jeeps will break those trees, and this didn't break it? That's weird. I don't understand why. Makes no sense to me as to why it wouldn't break it, but, oh well. Will it fit? Um, barely. Barely. Well, I feel like in real life, the, the smokestacks would have clipped it. I feel like in real life, the smokestacks would have just, just ever so slightly grazed the bridge, which would not have been pretty, by the way. That would not have been pretty whatsoever. Now, let's go ahead and, well, I was going to say, let's stop in for fuel, but we don't really need it because we have, like, because the fuel stop is going to come up soon, um, and so is the lumber mill, frankly, but we can just do that. And that is, frankly, a lot simpler than just having to stop at a fuel station. We, we might still stop at the fuel, fuel station just for, like, I don't want to say simulation purposes, but just to say that we stopped there. <laughs> trailer is big dude like it's genuinely something that would be a hassle on some maps it would be enough of a hassle on some maps that like i could see this being a challenge that would be better for a live stream instead of a video because there would be there would be so much backing up and adjusting and turning around and backing up and adjusting and turning around to try to get it around some of those hairpin corners i mean you guys know the maps i'm thinking about if you've watched the channel for a long time because oh wow it went all the way from 7th to 1st, but didn't stop. That's really cool. I'm, 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 I'm really liking how it will shift all the way back down to 1st gear, but it'll still salvage some momentum so you can keep that power down going up a hill, and you can keep that momentum moving. Come on, go for 6th. Go for 6th. I'm watching it. Let's try high range. Wow, that's really slow. That's actually, though, you know what? That's probably good because that probably gives you a little bit more of a, like, you've got extra ranges that you can use when you're trying to go up a hill or get out of a sticky situation. So, like, low one, two, and three, and then high are probably all decently close to each other. So you don't have to fiddle around with, like, the fact that high is so much, so much farther up. Okay, so, like, high is about the equivalent of, like, third or fourth. And I am not going to go around it. I'm going to just barrel through the mud and see how this thing takes it. Goes right back to first. Gets some grip. Knocks over the street signs and is good to go. One of the few vehicles, too, where I genuinely like being in the uh, interior view. I really like the interior on this truck. Not only was it modeled well, but it was modeled so well that you actually want to spend time in it. You know what I mean? Because very few vehicles in Mud Runner are... Whoa! 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 Go oh God! That was really bad. That was really bad. That was a little bit of a crash. But there are very few vehicles in Mud Runner that make you genuinely want to use the interior view. Whereas this, I could spend time in here. Like, if I wanted to play this really realistically, I could spend time in here and not get, like, not get mad about it. You know what I mean? And not get frustrated by it, not get mad about it, and 
just be totally cool with spending time in this interior view. I mean, this is borderline American Truck Simulator stuff. Let's see if it holds fifth going up that hill. No, it does not. Doesn't quite have the stuff for that. God, part of me would love to just go nuts with the, uh, like, go nuts with, with, like, for example, like, the coating of the, uh, of the torque and the performance. I just turn the torque through, like, all the way up, like, through the roof. I didn't even check and see if this trailer had garage points or not. It, ooh, it does. There we go. Hey, I mean, we made a genuine objective out of our mission. I'm cool with that. All right, so, considering the fact that it's there, let's, before we do anything else, let's turn it around. Oh God, come on. <laughs> and back it up real quick. I love the fact that it's on like mud terrains. I think that's so cool. The fact that they actually put it on mud terrain tires. All right, so we've got a little bit of a, mm, God, I forget how small these maps are sometimes. They're not huge, especially when you're used to playing around on the mod maps. They're really not that big. Um, we've got this massive, massive guy right here. And I'm going to see real quick if... Ooh, you know what I want to do? I know exactly what I want to do. Let me see if... Because i got these handy-dandy dev tools right here. <laughs> always, always good when you have your handy-dandy dev tools. Let's see. Uh, hmm. A stock Ram 3500. We'll add that right there. And let's see. Don't want any of those massive dump trucks because they will... Uh, they will mess some stuff up. Put that guy right there. And what else? No, do I want to try to fit, like, one more small vehicle on the back of that? I kind of do, but I kind of don't. Put you right there. All right, done. So now that we've done that, let's grab the, the Titan, because it's close enough to... Well... Yeah, we'll grab the we'll grab the dodge because it was the last one that hadn't spawned in all the way and I always like to make sure that they that vehicles have spawned in all the way so let's try and load this up well wait instead of doing that I want that I want this yeah no instead of backing them up into the garage let's just drive this guy out onto the road and I will push the k5 just a little bit because that oh god okay the K5 is in a little bit of a bad place. Well, eh, not worried about it. All right, now let's ugh, throw the parking brake on and be done with it, and get those ramps lowered down. I love the fact that they just lower in one go. Then you don't have to think about it. They just go all the way down, no problem. And let's see. If we can get these up onto the trailer. Alright, there's one up there, real up like, easily. I don't know if the Titan will fit. I know the K5... Well, I don't know if the K5 will fit, but I'm more confident of fitting the K5 up there than I am of fitting the Titan. So, I'm gonna... You know what? I'm gonna try the Titan first. And then if the Titan doesn't fit, then I'll definitely know that we have to that we have to use the um, the Blazer, the K5. Well, it's a Blazer, so easy. Line it up. Oh, okay, it does fit. If it's tight, but it does fit, that works. That's actually really, really surprising to me. I did not think it was going to work that well. Let's go. I was hoping that, like, just hitting Y would do the trick, but... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. It crashed, didn't it? All right, let's try this again. Because when the game crashes on you, sometimes is sometimes you just have to load back in where it left off and go from there. Because this game has a temper sometimes. And I mean that. It genuinely has a freaking temper. This game will do all sorts of things that you have no idea why it's doing them. 
I love the power metal celebration music. I think that's just that's just wonderful. All right, let's get turned around. The, the only bummer is the fact that I have to spawn all those vehicles back in. So what I'm going to do is most likely, most likely, well, you know what, though? We've, we've gotten everything on the trailer. We got everything on the trailer, and we proved that you could get everything on the trailer. So what we're going to do is I think we're going to probably make another video based on the hauling cap capabilities of this truck. I almost said capability. I don't know why I almost said that, but... Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video detailing the customization and kind of spotlighting this truck, make sure you click that like button. Tell me in the comments below what you thought of it. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more. And if you want to check out this mod, it is available on the Steam Workshop. So again, hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.